Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video games that locked out the true endings. Stand and fight, Slayer. Honor your true god. Fight and show me your purpose. Lucy, this is where your background comes into play. If our experiments with Desmond and the Animus aren't going well, you will remove him from Abstergo. I hear what you say. Trust me, I want to believe you. But Frank is gone. For this list, we'll be looking at games that saved the real ending for DLC. However, we're only including paid DLC, not free. And be warned, there are major spoilers ahead. Which instance annoyed you the most? Sound off in the comments. Number 10, Doom Eternal. You remain unbroken, for your fight is eternal. Id Software's follow-up to 2016's Revival was a bloody, explosive, adrenaline shot of a game. And it ended with the Slayer victorious and Earth saved. But there was a lot more to it than that. The developers crafted not one, but two DLC expansions to continue the story at $19.99 a piece. Stand and fight, Slayer! The two-part Ancient Gods saw the demonic invasion of Earth continue while showcasing a ton of lore. It mainly revolved around the Dark Lord, the first being in existence who created the multiverse and Hell. The Dark Lord's death destroys all demons outside of Hell, so it still ends with Earth saved, but the DLC's price of admission is enough to earn its spot. Number 9. Dead Space 3 Dead Space 3 isn't exactly the most beloved entry in the series, but it still nailed its tone and gave Isaac Clarke a definitive end. Or so we thought. The game concludes with Isaac and Carver sacrificing themselves to keep Earth safe from the Necromorphs. A moon crashes into the planet Tau Volantis and they fall from a definitively deadly height. However, a post credit sting and a $9.99 Awakened DLC confirmed that it strangely wasn't the case. Are we dead? Not only did they survive, but they made it back to Earth to find it surrounded by Brethren Moons. Sadly, this bleak ending would be the finale, as EA shut down Visceral Games in 2017, and only a remake of the first game is on the horizon. Let's go! Let's go! We may just blow up. We may just get saved by aliens again. Just hit the damn button! Number 8. Assassin's Creed Revelations the path must be opened. You cannot escape or pardon this. The scales shall be balanced. It's one thing to make players buy DLC to get answers, but linking it to a separate game is pretty crummy. At the end of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, modern-day protagonist Desmond Miles gets possessed by an ancient being who forces him to stab ally Lucy to death. Why this happened wouldn't be revealed until the DLC for the next game, Revelations. Lucy, this is where your background comes into play. If our experiments with Desmond and the Animus aren't going well, you will remove him from Abstergo. Take him somewhere he will feel comfortable divulging his secrets. The $9.99 Lost Archive DLC revealed that Lucy was working for the villainous Templars. The modern day events naturally aren't the most interesting aspects of the series, but making players purchase the next game and then DLC just to get an answer is annoying to say the least. Once inside their hideout, Perhaps you might ask the assassins why they left you alone for so many years. Number 7. Fire Emblem Fates
The 14th entry in Nintendo's long-running RPG series released in two parts on the 3DS, Birthright and Conquest. They each had their own storylines and characters, but primarily focused on Hoshido and Nor, two kingdoms at war. Which kingdom you sided with depended on your version of the game, and while both ended peacefully, the $19.99 DLC titled Revelation definitely had the more complete ending. You fought bravely. Well. The story saw the protagonist reject both kingdoms, only to find out later that someone else was pulling the strings. A third hidden kingdom, Vala, had been taken over by the evil dragon Anankos. Revelation united both kingdoms against a common foe, and peace was established between three kingdoms rather than two. Vow to keep peace between us. Hmm. Number 6. Alan Wake I will find a new face to wear. Ah, someone else to dream me free. The nature of Remedy Entertainment's Alan Wake is to disorient the player. It follows the titular author as he searches for his missing wife while witnessing events from a novel he hasn't written yet. And it ends with Alan trapped in an alternate, dreamlike reality known as the Dark Place. But two DLC expansions at $6.99 apiece were released the same year that chronicled Alan's time in this strange dimension as he learned of a way to escape. At the DLC's core is a message about conquering your fears. It's just a shame we had to shell out a few extra bucks to experience it completely. And Remedy would similarly hide a true ending within more DLCs for its future release, Control. Number 5. Fallout 3 One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? An open world game that completely ends after you finish the main story sounds strange. And even in 2008, players were frustrated by the outcome of Fallout 3. Upon entering the Jefferson Memorial, the Wanderer is confronted with a tough decision. Sacrifice themselves by taking on lethal radiation in order to fix a water purifier, or make their ally Sarah do it instead. Regardless, the game ends here. Or it did until Bethesda released the Broken Steel DLC. I was starting to think you might never wake up. This gave players the option to send a radiation immune ally in their stead, but it also let players continue exploring the wasteland after completing the main event. What's standard practice now was given a $4.99 price tag then. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Number 4. Dead Rising 4 Let's go! Wait! Wait! It's a break! The main draw of Capcom's zombie series is combining regular items to make ridiculous killing machines. But we were still ecstatic to see original protagonist Frank West return for the fourth game. The so far final entry ended with Frank sacrificing himself to a zombie horde as his friends escaped on a helicopter. But by forking over $9.99 for the Frank Rising DLC, we'd see the actual end of Frank's story. I want to help you, but you have to show me you're still in there. After being attacked by Evo zombies, Frank was turned and gained some nifty new abilities. But through an alliance with Dr. Blackburn, Frank would get cured and make an escape of his own. It seems like something that important should have been in the original game. Shit! <laughs> Number 3. Dying Light Crane, if you can recover Zara's data, I'm certain a cure is within reach. All right. Techland's survival horror game set itself apart with some stellar parkour mechanics. And despite its genre, it actually had a pretty happy ending. Kyle Crane was victorious over the villain and decided to stay in Haran to help survivors. 
but anyone who played the following knows that is in the end. The $19.99 DLC picked back up on Kyle, tracking a cult claiming to have a cure for the zombie virus. Of course, there is no cure, and the following ends in one of two ways. Either Kyle gets transformed into a sentient volatile, or he sets off a nuclear warhead to destroy Haran, containing the virus. Either way, it's a wildly different ending to the one that non-DLC purchasers were given. Number 2. Prince of Persia This cel-shaded revamp of Ubisoft's action-adventure series sought to tell a new story. But with the way things ended, we kinda wish it hadn't. During the climax, the prince's companion Elika is killed after completing a spell to lock the god of darkness Ahraman away. However, the prince frees Ahraman in order to bring her back to life, and the game ends with the ancient evil returning. To find out what happened after that cliffhanger, players would have to pay $9.99 for the Epilogue DLC. I couldn't heal him. Armin was too strong. Just because he's growing stronger doesn't mean. If I couldn't stop him now, how can I ever hope to? While it did put an end to Elika's villainous father, it still finishes with Ahriman free and likely seeking vengeance. But that would be the last we'd see of that storyline. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Azura's Wrath By far the worst case of price gouging players to give them a real ending is Capcom's anime inspired beat em up. The game itself was actually pretty cool, following an enraged demigod who seeks vengeance on those who betrayed him as he yearns for his kidnapped daughter. But by the end, there are still a few mysteries left unsolved. <laughs> A mere two months after launch, Capcom released the True Ending DLC. Yes, that's what they actually called it, that added an extra four chapters for $6.99. The price isn't too bad, but cutting out necessary scenes to get the full story? That's downright terrible. Durga, I'll be home soon. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.